Right, following on from that video I made you last week about the, I think it was last week, it might have been longer than that actually, about piecing the cloth, I've just wanted to show you that I've pieced more and just gauge how big I'm going to need it because it's going to be wrapped around these pages if you remember. So if I just hold these together like this, okay. So, and I put them there, but they're all together, so that's fine. So this is the new one that I've pieced. It's not finished yet, but it's going to be joined to these two. Okay, that's the one I pieced with you, that one. So this is going to be joined on. I'm not sure where or how yet. I'm trying to make it so the lines don't all run in the same direction. So maybe it'll go on there. So if I pin that on there, just uh, quickly, there's a lot more embroidery needs to be done on all of this. Um, and what I'll do today in my pictures, I'm just going to use pictures of the one I'm, the new one that I'm working on. That I'll show you in a little bit more detail in a minute. Oh, pin three finger, Karen. Um, this one. Okay, so basically. There's a lot more embroidery to be done on this one. But if I put that like that, get my pages back, they're going to wrap around these. So I need at least one more piece, don't I? After I've done this one. Because I'd quite like it to wrap loosely and not be really tight. So one more piece for definite. So that's just what I wanted to figure out today. Um, but I'm really having fun with this. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Um, so, and that's the the newest one. Minimally embellished yet at the moment, but I've got a bit of a thing for dangles, as you can tell. Okay. <laughs> 